soil as a resource we have seen land as a resource we have discussed the different patterns how is the land been categorized and later we also analyzed how to stop the land degradation why it is getting degraded and what are the methods to stop land degradation now moving on to understand soil as a resource let us see here soil has been playing a very very vital role in the modern days or in the ancient days because soil has been the only medium through which a plant can grow on the earth sir without soil plants cannot grow yes do you find any trees growing on a hill or a mountain you don't find on rocks on stones you don't find anything it is only because of the soil you get the trees been growing it is only because of in literal words mud where plants will grow we need to know that soil is very very important for us that is the meaning medium of growth of the plant it takes millions of years to develop the soil for a centimeter on the earth for us it takes less than a second to remove the entire soil from there with a crane you take the entire edge and throw it somewhere but it takes nearly millions of years to grow the soil pattern to a centimeter above than that it is really very very tough and when we talk about the way the people are reacting it's really very hard there are various forces in the nature which help to shape the formation of the soils the various forces are temperature actions of running water when the water is running it takes the soil along with that away and it throws it somewhere else then wind when heavy winds come they make the soil to also fly along with that we have the glaciers glaciers when they fall down and take the entire mud chemical organic compounds chemicals also take inorganic compounds also take the soil everybody will take the soil along with them so there are different forces in the nature itself which make the tendency of the soil to move from one place to another place and moving on to color basing on the color thickness texture then age of the soil chemical and the physical properties so how do we categorize the soil what are the criteria to categorize the soil the criteria to categorize the soil is how does the soil look how does the soil look soil looks very beautiful soil looking means looking at the color of the soil here everything is mud only black soil red soil what soil thickness soil will be this much thick then it is stone no how you call that thickness the thickness of the soil texture how is it is it soft is it crispy what is the nature of that age how long has it been there how long millions of years then chemicals what are the chemicals that are present in the soil then moving on to physical properties what does it exhibit is it very hard when it water is born how does it become is it very soft very sticky very hard how how it does it react so basing on the color of the soil the thickness of the soil the texture of the soil the age the chemicals the properties we have categorized the soils into four major categories actually into five major categories we shall discuss the fifth category later but before that the four major categories are alluvial soil black soil red and yellow soil laterite soil the fifth one is arid soil if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus